In this video, we are going to learn about adding a course to your newly created Genomeo website and about the student enrollment process for that course. Now when you log into your newly created Genomeo website, you go to the site home section and here you can see a button saying add a new course. So before going and adding a new course, let us see what else we can do with this front page of our website. So here you can see a setting button and here also you can see a setting button. So let me explore this button first. After clicking it, I see the content that was showing on our front page of the site home page. So here you can edit everything you want and put anything of your like. So as you can see, I have updated the information and this information will be showing up on the site home front page of my website. So now you can see uh, this information is updated. Let us explore one more button here. So here you can turn this editing off. And after you turn the editing off, you can see that this the setting button that was here now invisible. So if you want to change anything about these blocks, you have to turn the editing on from here. Also, if you click this button here, you see edit setting. When you go to the edit setting, you can change the name of your website and even the short name that comes here. So let me change it. Now, as you can see, I've updated the site name and the short name. And here you can see a lot more settings also, which you can use to customize your site homepage. Let us save the changes. And here now we can see as we go to the site home page here, we can see that my updated name is coming and in place of Moodle, you can see Ashwini is written. Now let us come back to our main objective. Let us click this button and add a new course. Here you see a lot of options. The options which have a red mark, these options are compulsory and you have to fill it. So let me add a course named network theory. In this course short name section, you can either write the any short name of the course or you can also write the subject code if you have it. Now, here you can see a button which says course visibility. If you hide it, your course will not be visible on your website. You can even give the course start date for your course as when you want your course to start to be visible. So let me give it as 1st October 6 a.m. And you can also give a course end date, but for now, let us disable it. In the description, you can uh, write a brief description about the course. Now I have given a description to this subject, network theory. And here you can put an image that represents your subject. It is not compulsory, but you can do as you wish. So let me give a electrical circuit that represents this subject very well. Now let us save this course and uh, here we, we directly be redirected to the participant sections. So before going to the participant section, let us see how this course looks on your site home page. So here you can clearly see that uh, in the available courses section, this newly created network theory course is visible. The image that we uploaded is also visible and the brief description that I entered so when we click on this subject, we will be redirected to this section here. The editing option is already on, so you can turn off the editing and you will not be able to see any add any activity or resources section here. So to make changes to these uh, sections, you have to turn your editing on. So after turning the editing on, you can see there are different sections visible. So this section, the first section is called general section and other sections are divided in different topics. So suppose your subject has five units, so you can divide your subject into five units and you can rename them from here. So suppose I have to rename it as unit one. I can just rename it as unit one and press enter. So similarly, you can rename all the different topics as whatever you want. If you want to add one more topic here or one more section, you just click on this button and add topics. So you can see that a fifth topic is added. Now, uh, 
you can see that in all the sections there is a button called add an activity or resources so if we click on this you will get to see a lot of options like assignment book chat choice database then quizzes so we will have a separate video where we will discuss about adding an activity or resource to your course here in your subject when you click on this participant section as we don't have any student enrolled on our course here nothing is to display so how to enroll a student on your newly created course so when you click on this setting button you will see this enrollment method link so let us click on that so in the enrollment methods you see three types of enrollments are there the first is manual enrollment where you can enroll students manually by putting their names roll number and email ids but that process is going to take a lot of time so there is one more method called self enrollment by student in which a student can enroll him or herself directly to your website's course so let us make this on now there is also a, a access method called guest access where any guest or anyone can access your course material directly so if you want you can keep it on or if you don't you can just uh, keep it off so here as you can see there is an i if this i is closed this particular option is closed now to see if a student will be able to enroll to our course or not let us visit our website as a student now when we open this website we will see that the course network theory is visible here so let us click here since we don't have any username and password there should be an option where a student can register himself or herself on your website so let us go back to our website and check if there is a problem with the setting so here you can see there is an option called site administration in the left side so let's click on that in the site administration section let us search self registration now in the self registration section you can see that it is disabled and there is no other options coming so that we can enable it so we have to go to the manage authentication section here you can see that email based self registration system has an i which is closed so we have to get it enabled so let's enable it now we again go back to the site administration and search self registration now here you can see a new option is coming as email based self registration so let's click on this and let's save the changes now let's go back to our website as a student again and see if the new option is coming or not so let me refresh it and now you can see that there is a new option coming as create a new account so let's click on this so by filling this form students can register themselves on your newly created website so let me fill this form as a student to demonstrate you as how can i enroll to the course so as you can see i have filled this form as a student and let me create my new account now it says that an email have been sent to my email id so let me check that email so as you can see i have got an email and here it is written that to confirm the new account i have to click on this link so let me click here and here i can see that the registration has been confirmed so let us continue now here it is already showing the student's name that i have provided and now you can see that in the network theory section there is a button coming called enroll me so as soon as i click enroll me button i will be enrolled as a student to this uh, subject network theory so this is how creating a course on a genomeo website and enrolling students to the course completes